This is the Global Economic Commodity Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Bentley Roloff Trailer and Lugger Truck, June 1, 2021. U.S. crude steel production fell to 1.793 million tons. The peak production in 2008 was approximately 2.17 million tons, so it was 21% higher in 2008. Low current production is bringing record prices and supply shortages. WTI crude oil price rose to 63.32 a barrel, near a two-year high. Solid economic data is putting upward pressure on prices, while more possible Iranian oil supply is putting downward pressure. The U.S. weekly oil rig count rose to 359, down 77.7% from 2014's high on growing demand, but relatively low prices. Scrap steel number one HMS price was steady at 413 33 a gross ton, but prices could be up $40 a gross ton or considerably more for June. Hot roll coil steel price rose to $80.45 per hundredweight off the record hit during the week. Restrained production and growing demand are bringing increases. Copper price rose to $4.67 a pound, but off the $4.84 recent high on strike threats at the world's largest copper mine. Increases were also on low U.S. unemployment claims and copper demand optimism. Aluminum price was steady at $1.08 a pound, which is $2,382 a metric ton off the recent three-year high. This was on strong global demand and on China's April imports up 165% year over year. China's May NBS Manufacturing Growth Index fell to 51, the lowest since February, on intense inflation and supply bottleneck problems. The Euro Area May Economic Sentiment Index. Remember, the Euro Area's economy is about the size of the U.S. economy. It increased to 114.5, the highest since January 2018, and remains above the long-term average. U.S. April durable goods orders fell 1.3% versus March as supply shortages impacted production. Motor vehicles and communications equipment fell the most. U.S. April personal spending rose 0.5% from March after March's 4.7% increase. Dining out and travel was up as goods purchases were down. U.S. May U of M Consumer Sentiment Index fell to 82.9, the lowest in three months on concerns over current and future conditions. U.S. April sales of new single-family homes fell 5.9% from March to 893,000, but remain high. Soaring prices and low supply hurt sales. U.S. initial unemployment claims fell to 406,000, the lowest since March 2020, on a strong jobs market. Washington, Florida, and New Jersey had the least claims. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 322 points to 34,529 on recovery optimism and current massive government spending. Also, low jobless claims and proposed massive $6 trillion proposed budget help the index. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.